college relationships as a freshman. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm doing a freshman advice video for y'all going off to college for the first time. I've graduated from college actually not that long ago, so you know, I have the tea going on for years. I wanted to give you freshmen some advice because girl, just going in here blind, it's not the way. <laughs> so I'm about to hit y'all with some pointers, with advice. I know when I went to college, <laughs> your girl was lost, the girl was confused. I don't want y'all to be like that, so I'm going to help y'all out. Before I get started, I want y'all to like this video, subscribe, alright, and leave me a comment. Like, if I helped you, you know, if I didn't help you, like, let me know. Sit back, relax, I'm gonna hit you guys with the facts. So, the first thing I want to say is that grades come first. You are going to college to get an education. Don't play when it comes to your grade. You can go out, you can have fun, you can enjoy yourself, but... Your grades come first you're paying thousands of dollars it's not cute to go to college and and not do well for those who go to college and decide that that's not for them totally different story but for those who go to college and want to do something and know that you need to go to college in order to do that you need to be serious about your grades i wanted to make sure that was number one so you guys know because if you fail you really have to retake that class which means you have to pay for it again and one class baby girl it's expensive <laughs> Look it up, look it up. I'll, I'll let you guys do your own research. Expensive, don't play. All right, so on to the next one. So the next one is, before you move into your dorm rooms, reach out to your roommates, get to know them, see what they're about, see what their personalities are like. Look them up on Facebook, message them, cause that's what I did. I would message every single girl. Like, hi, my name is Jaden, I'll be your roommate. You know, like just to get a feel of them because they are strangers. One that same no, like really try to get along with your roommates. Honestly, it's hard because not everybody is raised the same way, baby girl, definitely not. That's where you learn a lot about yourself and like your patience levels. Cause girl, I have a whole story time about it, but my roommates used to test me. If something bothers you that they're doing, they're not cleaning up after themselves, you've been telling them, don't hold it in and just tell it to your friends. Like, oh my God, this girl never cleans up after herself. She's dirty and she stinks. She never takes showers. Da, 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 da. Like maybe that's true. Tell her, tell her like, hi, we live together and you gotta fix this. Or, or if it's a boy. Hey, like, Bro, your dirty socks is really making this room stink. And I don't like coming into the room and it's smelling like this. <laughs> Just to be honest, communication is key. And I know that sounds so corny, but communication is key. Make sure the person that you're having this issue with knows that you have an issue. If you're still having problems after that, make sure to reach out to your RA. Don't get into a fight, all right? I did that. <laughs> don't do it. Story time of that. There's no reason to be passive aggressive. If you're having an issue, if you're having problems, let them know. Period. Because that's the quickest way to get it solved. So, my next one. It's okay. Y'all, I know I wrote two twice. Please ignore that. Thank you very much. You end up with a different group of friends. It's okay to change friends. It's okay to realize that you don't want to hang out with certain people. It happens. Don't dwell on it. Accept it. And move on. Sometimes you might be sad. Sometimes you might not. You have to choose the right people to hang out with. So if you're hanging out with people who don't really care about their education, who don't really care about what they're doing, who don't really want to succeed the way that you feel like you want to succeed, just watch out. Make sure you're around people who are actually genuinely your friends. All right, so the next one is like on relationships and college relationships as a freshman is just... You're new. First of all, freshman boys are only looking for one thing. I can say that 1,000%. You go to college, oh, I'm free, freedom? Like, I'm finna get on the honeys. I'm finna get on the dudes. Nobody really is finna be serious. And those who are coming from home with boyfriends, you know, it might be hard, long distance is hard. Don't let it distract you that much. Have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't get stuck up in this boy, girl drama. You're young, <laughs> be free, be single. Enjoy being single, get to know yourself. Don't get to know yourself and somebody else. That's all I'm gonna say about it. So next, y'all are going out into the world. This is your first taste of freedom. Be smart when you go out to these parties. Be smart when you're walking around at nighttime. Don't go out alone. If you went with friends, leave with them. Be smart about the choices that you make because I promise you these choices will affect you for the rest of your life. The rest of your life. You're an adult now. So everything that you do will affect you. Period. The next thing I want to say is, if you're not a morning person, 
Do not take morning classes. Listen. Listen to me. Do not take morning classes. Unless you have to. Unless that class is not offered any other time. Because you're not going to go. And you don't want to deal with it. I'm telling you right now. It's not the move. It's not the move. Well, in high school, I woke up at 6 a.m. every morning. My mom woke me up at 6 a.m. That's because your mom came in your room and yelled at you to get up. <laughs> Nobody's doing that in college. No one's telling you to get up. Nobody's making you go into class. If you turn your alarm off, accidentally fall back asleep, wake up, it's 825, you already missed your first class. But, all right, in the same sense, and you decide, oh, I'm gonna take afternoon classes, that means that you will get out of your classes later. So that's really up to you. My next advice to you freshmen, like y'all, go to class. Go to class. Go to class. Let me tell you something. Maybe you did bad on a test. Maybe you did bad on a big homework assignment. At the end of the semester, at the end of the school year, those participation points can make or break your grade. Also, you know, not going to class, your teachers notice. So if you're having problems with something or you need extra time on an assignment or you need help on something, they might just bump that grade up. <laughs> and my last one, y'all, is just enjoy your freedom. Be smart with your freedom. Your first year in college, it's really fun. Take it in. Go day by day, y'all. Wake up happy, enjoying yourself in your new little room. Just enjoy it. So that's all I have to say. Have a great time in college, y'all. I'm so happy for you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And congratulations on getting into college. And I hope you do well. Bye.